Hey there guys, this is Flames are on aka YouTube's Tosuke, and seemingly with like every um few uh months, it seems like they announce a new Warriors spin-off game. And uh this time it's Fire Emblem Warriors, another Nintendo one, coming out for the 3DS and the, and the Nintendo Switch, and of course, now that I have a Switch, you know, obviously I'm gonna be getting that one. But yeah, they're actually making a Fire Emblem Warriors game, which uh for me personally, I think that's kind of cool, and I think a lot of people wanted one as well. At the same time, I can also maybe see why some people would be annoyed if you're going to look at it very sort of black and white. Because, like, obviously the Warriors games being, like, a big action-y hack-and-slash game. Um, almost in a way sort of like a modern beat-em-up. Most people would probably think, oh, wait, that's not really what Fire Emblem is. But, I mean, like... It's important to remember that, like, this is not a main Fire Emblem game. It's a spinoff, you know. Obviously, spinoffs, they can, if they want to change it and try a different game style with these characters, you know, that's the right, that's kind of the point of spinoffs, is to show the characters and the world in sort of, like, a different way, in my opinion, or a different perspective. And in terms of games, one of the ways you can do that is a different genre. Um... Out of uh, all of Nintendo's franchises, uh, Fire Emblem is probably the last one that uh, they can make a Warriors game off of. I, I can't think of any others that would really fit without like really stretching or making some sort of like collaboration. They're obviously not going to make like a Super Smash Bros. one or anything like that. And I know this is sort of like old news, and we're right on the cusp cusp of E3. Um, so we're probably going to get more information from like one of the Nintendo Direct or treehouse thingies but i just wanted to kind of do a video kind of talking about my overall thoughts and what we've learned some f so far because there's been some news in regards to it for one thing uh so far in terms of the character roster one they've said that it's gonna that so far it's like the biggest one yet for like a spinoff um so it's probably more akin to like a typical dynasty warriors game Though they did say that they're only going to include characters from the Fire Emblem 1 remake. I think it's called Shadow of Dragons or something. Or Shadows of Dragon. I don't know. It was for the DS. Um, then Fire Emblem Awakening. And then Fire Emblem Fates. So only those three games. So the roster is actually going to uh, be sort of limited. I know uh, people would probably prefer uh, more characters. Particularly probably from Echoes, I guess. Assuming that's uh, pretty popular since it's the new hotness, and uh, also Fire Emblem 7, because I know that one's pretty popular, especially among my friends, and actually I know that uh, a lot of them really uh, like the character Hector from from Fire Emblem 7, and he's not going to be in the game, so that's unfortunate. They did say most, so I don't know, maybe we'll get like a couple of characters. I feel like Roy is probably going to be an easy choice to include just because he's sort of like a alternative poster boy for a fire at least from the same point of super smash brothers i personally was hoping for someone like ike i think ike would have been cool um he probably would be a pretty easy design as well but so far they've only announced marth and krom um as well as uh the main character you play as i don't really know what to ca call him i think some sort of like tactician or something but it's like a you can choose to be a guy or a girl um it's just some blonde swordsman with a shield that you can do or swords woman whatever i'll probably end up playing as that character the most uh because frankly um seven i was kind of interested in the only actual fire room game that i've even played remotely was sacred stones and even then it was a it was a partial mod to throw in tails characters so it was like partial <laughs> so i didn't actually play the legit uh, sacred stones i probably should go back um, I am a little interested in Echoes just because I like the dungeon crawling aspect of it. And I think Alm looks pretty cool. But uh, other than that, I'm not really into Fire Emblem that much. Uh, my best friend Nick, he's really into Fire Emblem. It's his favorite video game series. He's probably the biggest Fire Emblem fan that I know. So I'm mainly getting it so that we can play the game together. I think it's probably going to be two-player. Rather, I hope it's two-player. I feel like it probably would be best to make it two-player. Um... Not that Hyrule Warriors wasn't, so, like, there's that standard, but also uh, Dragon Quest Heroes 1 wasn't multiplayer. Of course, they fixed that with Dragon Quest Heroes 2. And uh, Berserk and the Band of the Hawk, which that review is already done. That's going to be going up uh, relatively soon. 
um, soon-ish. Uh, that game wasn't multiplayer, so hopefully uh, they'll keep up with the trend of making the Nintendo ones multiplayer. Um, and this will probably give them a chance to sort of, uh, them being Koei, uh, try out some new, uh, what's the word, like tactical um, aspects to the Warriors games, because even though it's a Warriors game, they are going to throw in some uh, Fire Emblem aspects to it, like the uh, Weapon Triangle thing, which personally I don't think is going to really matter that much, um, because, you know, with it being a Warriors game and me being a Warriors pro at this point, I'll, I, I could probably take down all people with just my sword, depending on who I play as. I'll pro like I said, I'm probably just going to play as the main guy. Um, probably just name him after me too, unless Nick wants to play him or something. Um, and there's some other stuff. There's a recent news bit that kind of... News bit. I'm already thinking about the podcast. There was a recent article on Silicon Era that uh, talks about some of the stuff they want to do as well as why they're doing some of the things that they're doing, such as only including characters from Shadow of Dragons, Awakening, and Fates. Which they chalked it up to, to it being there be too many characters, uh, which is kind of funny, considering that they're saying Dynasty Warriors Nine is going to have over a hundred characters. So if you if you want to talk about having a large roster, I mean, at the same time, from what I've seen of Fire Emblem, the rosters for each game are huge, like majorly huge. Um, so it would probably be well over a hundred at that point. So I, I I would love to see more characters, you know. If they ever make a sequel, that'd be cool. Um, I guess they'll, it'll probably depend on how well this one does. I could see it being sort of like a standalone as well. Um, but, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to give it a try. You know, I have a Switch so I can play it. Um, I don't know if it'll be day one for me or not, but I, I might give it a try because I like the Warriors games. And although I'm not really into Fire Emblem that much, I do like the character designs. And playing as the characters in the Super Smash Bros. games is always really fun. So, it'll be cool to see uh, how things go. But, uh, yeah. Seems pretty interesting. And I imagine we're going to hear more at E3 and whatnot. So, yeah. This is Flames Veronica Dusasuke signing out. See you later.